Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Renzo Racer VR, a game on the Steam Store that just came out of early access yesterday. And uh, I actually bought this game a while ago. Uh, I bought this in the, I believe it was a spring 2018 sale on Steam for 49 cents. And it was absolutely one of the best deals of that sale for for myself 49 cents is a great deal for what you're getting here uh this is a fun game however you do have to look past all its faults and for some people that may be impossible for me though i was able to do that i was able to enjoy the title i was able to enjoy it for what it is if you're expecting mario kart vr you're going to be sorely disappointed because this is not a triple a title it, it's not priced as such and I don't think the developers think it is a AAA title. However, it's a nice, uh, cheap alternative to Mario Kart in VR, especially since we don't have Mario Kart in VR. Uh, keep in mind, you do have to play this with a controller. I'm using an Xbox One controller and it plays fine. Now, I do believe the controls could be better. That's one thing that I wish the developers had. If there was one thing they could do to fix this game, uh, to make it even better uh, for me to give it a higher recommendation than a 6 out of 10 which is what I'm the final score I'm giving this game is to make the controls better uh, the controls are just not the best uh, turning is just not pinpoint accurate and it doesn't matter what type of cart you have so in this game you have different racers uh, and you know there's different animals from a porcupine to a rabbit to a turtle, to a shark, yeah, you have them all and you have different looking carts, so you have different cockpit views as well, so that's all great. Uh, you can reset your view, although sometimes, I, especially for one cart, I tried to reset the view, but I always had an obstructed view with that one cart, and, and I forgot which cart it was for one of the animal racers. The view was never good from behind the wheel, because it was just too big. Uh, most of them are though like this where you do get a good view so no no problems with this particular racer uh, but the controls are, are not the best you know making your turns is just not not as smooth as it should be and especially with this type of racer it's kind of technical actually you, you have to uh, make wild turns you have to avoid uh, dangers you have to sometimes go for power-ups and because controls are not the best you just aren't always able to do that now you can break but breaking kind of slows you down too much and i notice if you break you kind of have our will have a hard time finishing first so you kind of just have to like pedal to the metal all the way through uh and you just release the gas sometimes for the turns but just the turns are just never good and if you use break then you just slow down too much and you're gonna end up not doing too well so you kind of just have to race recklessly and as long as you get in first place uh, it's actually kind of gets a lot easier so once you get in first place uh, especially if you get lucky with some of the power-ups and you can just drop some bombs behind you it'll basically be impossible for the other racers to catch up to you and that's both on easy and on normal so there's only two difficulties easy and normal I didn't notice too much uh, difference between the two. I think normal was a little bit more difficult, but I'm not even sure on that. Uh, but yeah, the video that you're watching now, it's all on normal. This is not easy. And yeah, as long as I picked the right racer, I was able to finish first. Uh, but that is initially a problem. So when you start off with the game and you're not familiar with all the racers and their attributes, you know, some go faster, some have more weight, some handle better and when you don't have access to all the racers you're not able to get the best ones and it's just a lot more difficult to win a race once you do get a good racer though the races become a lot easier and it's, and so it's just a matter of luck then uh do i get unlucky with the power-ups and if you do like if for example you get that four leaf clover of bad luck and you get shifted from whatever place you are back one place so if you're first you can go back to second place Conversely, if you get lucky and get the, sh the lucky shamrock, you're going to go from second to first. That's awesome. But as long as you're in front, it becomes a lot easier. However, if you get in trouble and you're in the back, it's going to be po probably impossible to finish first because you do really need to get into first place as soon as possible in order to do well in the races. Uh, 
the racing is crazy, it's hectic, and it's, sometimes you feel like you're racing on skates because it's just difficult to control. You'll bump into stuff. Uh, other, the AI will bump into you and put you further back. And sometimes it's just impossible to uh, get better placing just because of uh, circumstances where you're just constantly getting bad luck, whether it's getting bad power-ups or having the other racers bump into you or just getting into different obstacles. For example, when you saw earlier in the gameplay, I was running into those tornadoes over and over and over again, and I just finished last place in that particular race. Uh, and then I got another racer, and then I finished in first place because, again, I was able to get out ahead out of front of all the other racers and it was just a lot easier to avoid the obstacles and just stay in front so yeah this is a crazy one it is fun actually if you're able to look past all the technical issues uh there are frame rate drops so if you're susceptible to getting vr nausea motion sickness this game will probably give it to you now i don't suffer from that so i had no issues with it but yeah there are definitely frame rate drops it doesn't matter if you're on uh, the graphics mode, I think it goes from good, beautiful, to uh, fast, and it doesn't matter which one, it, it, there's going to be frame rate drops, at least for me on my 1060 GTX. Uh, like I said, I do wish the handling were better, uh, I'd like to be able to do cornering or do some drifting. I kind of wish the, the power-ups were, were shown to you, that way at least there's some skill in getting the right power-up and not getting the wrong power-up, versus it just being totally random in this game. There are 20 different tracks and 16 different racers, and they're all different. Like I mentioned, the racers could be faster, uh, have more weight, better handling, and all the tracks just are different. They're very zany, uh, different obstacles, some on water, some on land, they're just crazy. But the technical issues keep this from being a great title. So I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. I would say buy on sale. Thank you.